Hello everyone, my name is Kurt. My PlayStation username is Picard underscore rules. Today I'm going to show you an easy farming method on Marabashi. I am playing on Way of the Neo, which will yield me with my setup right around 21.5 billion. That's if you kill all seven of the masters. Um, if you're f if you're coming come here to farm, I recommend to kill six and be killed on the last master. And when you come into here, use the Ochoco Cups and increase your chances by 10%. This way you just keep doing it over and over again without having to respending the Ochoco Cups. Now, my, as far as my equipment goes, I'm going to use an Odachi. And I'm right around 4,000 damage. I have a change to attack heart uh, with an A+. And some pretty other good stats in there. And the key is going to be, because we're using paralytic uh, ground four traps, you're going to want the Hino and Makabuto, which gives you close combat um, damage or attack when the enemy's paralyzed and ups at 58.9%. That's with max familiarity. Now you can f farm for the smithing text from Hino Enma um, and forge it in the blacksmith, or if you kill her enough, you may actually get it on a drop. The General Kagetsu's armor set, which gives us close combat attack when we're in critical, because we're going to be using the Leeching Talisman. 25% boost, plus all the other um, stat bonuses there. Now I'm only using four, um, but I also have the sword, which gives me five. And then I'm using a Yasukana Magatama, which reduces the requirements by one. Which allows me to get the full six-piece um, boost. Now, you can use the General Kigetsu's armor set for Way of the Samurai, all the way up to Way of the Neo. So, essentially, you can do my method on any um, playthrough uh, relevant of the difficulty. Uh, then I'm using a lot of uh, Yadamira for luck and that's it for this now when we go down to the shortcuts what I do is I have all four unlocked but the top two I always add a uh, life seal talisman weakness and paralytic ground fire um, for those three they're the same regardless now the right button I use uh, soul stone and an elixir because those were only used in the beginning so during the fight you won't have to think about the right and as far as the bottom, we do the same thing. Both bottoms, I add Luckbringer, Extraction, Power Pill, and Carnage. I do it because this way, when you're in the middle of the fight, you don't have to think where you're at. It's just one click, and you're on to the next screen. Okay, and then we go over, I'll show you my stats. Compare these with yours. I'm relatively high in the game. Um, I use the Suzaku and the Ito Curry. Ito Curry gives you an extra 42 luck. And uh, Suzaku is just really, really good at, um, at what I'm going to be doing here. Um, here's my stats. See, I have a lot into heart because my weapon's heart. And I have a lot into strength because my weapon is a strength weapon. Also, I like to have at least 100 in spirit. Okay, so now let me show you what I do. So, first thing I need to do is we need to get our health down into critical, which is below 30% of your health. So I'm going to use a leeching talisman. Now, if you have tenacity on one of your pieces of armor, you want to do what I'm going to do, which is, because um, I don't have the tenacity, so when my health gets down low enough, I'm going to hit some health, and I'm going to do this twice until the leeching talisman wears off. Now for me, it's right around 2,300 uh, hit points. And if I do this twice, it'll come down just about perfect on the second time. There we go. And I'm going to use a soul stone, activate my M ready gauge. And we're gonna go into here, and I'm going to use a Seisetsu Shinsake, 
which is going to help increase the amount of Amrita. And what I'm going to do is I have a Power Pill, a uh, Luckbringer, Extraction Talisman, and Carnage. And I'm going to put a Ground Floor Trap down. And we're going to buff up. And here we go. So I'm just going to shoot him with the weakness. And wait till he's paralyzed. Stab him. Now I like to keep them back here, and I'll show you why. And she already got an ethereal. <clears throat> As now I run back here and I'll just grab all these, which is not really necessary if you're going to beat beat everyone. But if you're going to die to the last boss, it's good to just make sure you get everything grabbed before he kills you. Now this guy is tougher than pretty much all of them, so just be careful with him. Now after him, I'm going to reapply my buffs again. Sometimes he uh, snakes away to run after him a little bit. So, now I'm going to nail him. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to click. I'm going to rebuff all my buffs. Click again. And here we go. Alright, make sure you lock on to him, which I didn't there. And uh, it definitely affected me. I'm just gonna grab all these while he's getting frozen. And sometimes you need to get a hit him a few times, but by the time you'll kill him right off the bat. Now I like to save my last weakness talisman for the last master, because he can be um, rather difficult compared to Hanzo. Fortunately, you only get six and there's seven bosses you have to fight. Make sure I just hit the power pill again real quick. And we'll finish him off. And there you go. And um, you see I got about, I think about four or five ethereals. And that's because I have the 10% uh, choco cups. Now, like I said, if, if you're going to do this to farm for gear, um, just die to him and what I like to do is I come right back here let him kill me here and then when you drop in you just drop in and get your guardian spirit again you don't have to um, run up here and risk activating the next guy <clears throat> um, and that's pretty much it uh, like I said you can use this on any of the playthroughs you know obviously you're gonna you know get less Samurina at the lower you know levels the way of the warrior the way of the samurai um, so yeah, if this helped you, uh, give, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want, contact me on PlayStation and uh, I'd love to play. Thank you and have a great day.